What's up guys, Sagi here and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install or set up CineStyle and ProLoss picture profiles on the Canon SL2 or 200D depending on where you're from. And this tutorial will work for any custom picture profile that you find on the web, either paid or free. If you watched my Canon SL2 cinematic look tutorial, you know that one of the things I recommended in order to get that great cinematic look everyone wants is to use a flat color profile. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to head on and check it out so that you can get a complete easy to follow tutorial for getting cinematic footage. To review, the Canon SL2 has eight different picture styles and picture styles are designed to make adjustments to the picture profile for different types of shooting. So for example, the standard profile is set to produce vivid colors and contrast levels that people tend to like for general photography. And if we look at something like portrait style, it adjusts the color tone magenta to yellow to more accurately reproduce natural skin tone. So if I'm just shooting a regular video for YouTube and I don't plan on color grading it at all, I'm happy with the standard picture profile. It gives me super usable footage with a nice amount of contrast and saturation right out of the camera so I can immediately start editing. Naturally, it doesn't have the best dynamic range, but it does give me a much faster workflow. And if you're not familiar with the term dynamic range, at least when it's used in photography and video, it's a measurement between the brightest and the darkest parts of your image. And it can also refer to your sensor's capabilities in terms of how much of a difference between the shadows and the highlights of your image it can capture without the highlights being completely blown out and the shadows going to pure black. So while standard picture profile works well in some cases, when we try to get a more cinematic look, we need to do something different. It's best if we used a flat picture profile. I already explained why in more detail in the complete tutorial, so let's get to the setup or installation part. Let's start with the Technicolor CineStyle, and I'll have a link in the description that will take you to technicolor.com slash CineStyle. Scroll down and fill out the email form and you'll get an email with a download link. Now go ahead and extract the content of the zip file to your desktop or to wherever you want. Just make sure that you remember the location. You'll have a folder with a user guide PDF, the actual picture style, which will have a .pf2 extension, and another zip file which we'll talk about later. Next, connect the SL2 to your computer using a mini USB cable and start the Canon EOS Utility app. Make sure that you have the latest version or it may not recognize the SL2. And I'll have a link in the description to the exact download page. Just follow that link and then go to Drivers and Downloads, then select the Software tab, and find the EOS Utility, which at the time of me making this video is version 3.9.0. Now turn on your SL2 and you'll get a screen that shows you a few options. Download images to computer, remote shooting, and camera settings. Now you might think that you wanna go into camera settings, but we're actually gonna use remote shooting. And this is actually a great feature for when you wanna control your SL2 remotely, but that's a topic for another video. The feature that we wanna use is register user defined style, but you'll notice that it's grayed out and I can't click on it. And the reason is that I have my SL2 set to video mode, which for some reason disables this option. I'll go ahead and change my SL2 to photos or on, and you'll see that the register user defined style is now available. Go ahead and click on it and you'll get the next screen, which gives you three user defined options. If you haven't used any of these, they will all be set to auto. Click on the browse button and locate the technicolor underscore cinestyle underscore v1.o.pf2 file, which we extracted and then go ahead and select it. You'll see that after a few seconds, it will be installed on your SL2 and you can click OK. Now this both installed and select CineStyle as your current picture profile, but let's disconnect the SL2 from the computer and look at how you would select this option later on. Once you have it installed, you can click on menu, go to shoot three, click on picture style and scroll down to the user defined selection that you use to install the CineStyle profile. Click the info button on your SL2 to see the detailed settings and make sure that sharpness is turned all the way down, contrast is turned all the way down and saturation is turned down two clicks. 
That's it, now you're good to go. You can start shooting with the CineStyle picture profile and get some great flat footage to start with. Now, if you don't have time to install CineStyle or you're just borrowing a camera and it doesn't have it installed and you're in a rush, you can create the ProLost profile very quickly. Again, click on Menu, go to Shoot 3, and then select Picture Style. Scroll down and select one of the user-defined settings that aren't being used, I'll use number two, and click the Info button. Start with the Neutral Picture Style, and then set the Sharpness to zero, which is all the way to the left. Set the Contrast all the way to the left, and set Saturation two notches to the left and now you just created ProLoss picture style. All right, so we very quickly installed two flat picture profiles that we can use to easily get better footage with our SL2. If you haven't yet, make sure that you check out the complete tutorial for cinematic footage with the SL2 so you can capture the best footage before moving on to color grading and editing. I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please let me know by leaving a comment, giving this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, Join the community by hitting the subscribe and notification buttons. For more tips and tutorials, I also recommend that you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.